Hello, I'm Jax, Jax Mackey, and I'd like you to envision adventure. So some of you may already know me from the live streaming platform Twitch, uh, where I mostly play video games, specifically Minecraft, um, but this, this is going to be different. This is going to be more recorded content, and it's going to focus more on IRL adventure kind of situations. Um, more details on that a little later in the video, but I do want to give you a little introduction uh, about where I'm at uh, here. I'm, I live in Wisconsin, and in fact, I've lived on the, this very road uh, for all my life. Uh, 23 years, I grew up with my parents, and then I bought a house right next door to them. So right now, I'm, I'm making plans to, to leave Wisconsin. I'm going to leave this area altogether. Um, I've been here 52 years. I just lost my parents last year, um, divorced several years ago, and my kids are going to be out of school. They're going to be out of high school. So there's not a whole lot going to be keeping me here. So I figured let's try something different. So my plan is to essentially sell everything I got and jump ship to somewhere else. Um, I don't know where that is yet. Um, I'm looking more on the East Coast. Chesapeake Bay, North Carolina. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. And right now the, with the home market the way it is, it's, it's really difficult to buy a house, um, a buy property, especially without going to see it. Um, and that leads me up to another issue is just getting there, you know, getting there to go see the property and then actually not winning the bid. So spending thousands of dollars in hotels and, and flights, cars and whatnot to go see property that I may not be able to purchase because I'm outbid or whatever reason, maybe the house just isn't up to snuff. So I've been kind of racking my brain trying to figure out how I'm going to do that and how to make that happen, when to make that happen. Um, I thought I thought I'd be kind of be moving out of here already, you know, in, 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 in at this time uh, of the year. But I'm I'm thinking that it's going to happen probably in the springtime of 2022, spring summer. So what am I going to do? How am I going to get there? What what what's my my plan? So originally I was going to buy another house, sell this one, but poses a little problem, financial issues, trying to figure out, you know, how am I going to juggle that? The other issue, other other thing I could do is um, sell this house, become homeless essentially, until I find another piece of property. Not something I really want to do. I really don't want to be in between a place, you know, that I could call home or at least, you know, be safe and comfortable. Um, renting really isn't something that I, I really want to think about doing because it's really money that you'll, you'll never get back, you know. I mean, it's in a pinch, yeah, okay, I'll rent, but not really something that I really want to do for a long term because, you know, I, I've owned my house, you know, for 29 years. Uh, my mortgage payment is probably a lot half than than what I could pay for rent on the same uh, on a smaller piece of property so renting isn't something that I want to do and recently I decided um, I got looking into um, you know RVs and such you know what about a temporary um, solution to a, to the housing situation and, and what an RV can do is is it can get me to a location um, where I can you know have a place to stay, eat, cook, sleep, um, be comfortable while I look for property. So it got me really thinking about what I could do with, um, with, that, with that idea. So I started looking at, you know, smaller IVs. I don't, I don't want anything huge. Um, you know, I don't want to break the bank in the same token of, you know, I could buy a house for the same money I'm going to spend on this RV, which I, you know, don't really want to do that either. Uh, resale value and all that stuff. So I figured get something small like a van, um, but I'm a big guy. I'm six foot five. I need something 
reasonably sized. I mean, being hunched over inside trying to cook is just not really my idea of, of being comfortable. You know, in a pinch, sure. Um, but we're talking probably uh, something that I'm going to probably be in for maybe a year, two. I don't know. Um, so I wanted something a little bit bigger. Um, of course, the bigger you go, the more expensive it is. And it's just not something that I, I didn't want to go down that path either. You know, I, I wanted to try to keep things economical and, 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 and you know, the resale value probably as good as I can get. So what I ended up finding was an empty cargo van. And what I liked about the empty cargo van is that I can pretty much lay it out and set it up however I want. I can go as extravagant or as simplistic um, as I as I need to, as I want to. Um, and if I do it right, if I do it well, resale value, I mean, I could, I, I know the, the vehicle itself will depreciate, but I think I could generate enough um, income on the labor facet of the build to see a return, um, if you will, on the investment. You know, obviously not looking for, you know, a million bucks return, that's not my, what, what I'm thinking at all, but at least if I invest, you know, 40, 50, 60 uh, thousand in this, I'll get 40, 50, 60 thousand back out of it when I go to sell at least, at the very least. So that, that would be a really kind of a, a cool aspect. Um, so this empty cargo van, um, you know, isn't huge, but I think it'll be uh, adequate enough. Um, I got a pretty good layout inside uh, so far and some ideas on how I want to have it set up. Um, you know, combination, my plan is to have uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, battery cells and solar um, inverter chargers so that we can handle, you know, all the 12 volt stuff and, um, you know, 120, you know, some certain things, you know, plug in the mixer, or a, a blender or something like that, maybe a microwave, I'm not sure. I will have to, you know, run the specs and see how that's going to work out. but. That's kind of the goal with the power, power aspect of it. We'll have a fridge. Um, not sure about, you know, not sure about a gas uh, cooktop, but induction. I think I can run a, a small induction on it uh, with, the, with the battery uh, system that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. And of course, a 12 volt refrigerator um, would be a must too, because, you know, this will be something I'll be living in for a while. Um, so, I, you know, obviously I want it to be comfortable. Of course, you know, sleeping quarters, sitting quarters, eating quarters, that kind of thing, you know, modular, you know, whether we flip something up or, you know, it's a standard something or other, it, the bed is always there or it, it flips up or hides away or however we decide to do it. But that's that's kind of the goal here um, with this series. And I've kind of, um, like I said in the beginning, envision adventure. So, you know, think what can we do to, to adventure and what that's going to entail is, you know, traveling around, um, you know, the Midwest, maybe traveling around the East Coast for sure, um, possibly, you know, heading over to the West Coast. I know there's some, some people that I know, some friends that I've met through, um, through streaming, through uh, Twitch, uh, that have sort of extended an invitation out there. So, you know, to go out there and, and, and spend, you know, a week, two weeks, you know, hanging out in their driveway, um, drinking some beers, uh, grilling some good food, and enjoying the good camaraderie. I think that would be pretty, uh, pretty amazing. Um, all that, of course, in the process of trying to find, you know, suitable property to to purchase, um, whether it would be, you know, a complete house or a, a piece of empty property where I can build my own. You know, so I guess we'll see, you know, where that where that road takes me. But that's my plan right now. So um, a lot of this is new. I mean, no, no stranger to, to building things. Um, some of this stuff I haven't never done before. Um, but that's okay. We'll figure it out along the way. And but then some of it is going to be brand new. Uh, I've never lived in an RV. Um, I, I've done traveling in my in my days. Um, Ten years traveling the world as a construction uh, dude and building water parks not only in the United States, but also around the world. So traveling is definitely in my blood. I, I definitely enjoyed it. So, but that's, that's the direction that where I'm going with this. So how about I take this 
time and, and give you a little tour of um, of this, this van that I bought um, and, and just talk a little bit about what my initial plans are and what you would probably see in the next uh, s several videos um, of this build out because this is a completely empty vehicle, uh, empty van, van body and we're going to completely build it up into a really cool uh, amazing space. So. All right, so this is a uh, 2017 E350 cutaway with a fiberglass um, fiberglass body. Well, let me back up here. Looks like it's an unicell unicell van body. It comes with a loading ramp and everything. This particular this particular van body is about 13, 13 feet six, uh, so 13 and a half feet deep, uh, plus whatever's over the cab there. There's a, quite a bit of space above the cab. And what I've got laid out on the floor it kind of represents the seating area and the sleeping area. Um, I thought for a second there I was going to install Murphy beds where the beds would flip up towards the side the sides of the the body but I think the amount of space that I'll lose by installing a Murphy bed for each side I can gain just by scooching the mattress over uh, but we'll see well I, that's probably the direction I'm gonna go and then of course the smaller little rectangles there those are kind of representative of the seating so in between would be the, the you know the area where the feet would go. Essentially this part of the build, the back towards the rear part of the, the vehicle, is going to house um, the batteries, the inverter charger, all the electronics, and then the other side would hold the uh, fresh water tank, uh, possibly the air conditioner, uh, and, and some storage and stuff like that. Uh, we'll have a gray water tank for the for a sink and shower uh, that'll be underneath the band body itself so that won't be inside the vehicle at all. I'm gonna have some windows uh, cut in on the sides and also we're gonna cut in a door. The door will be on the passenger side of the vehicle. You can kind of see that I got it kind of uh, laid out here. This is just roughly just kind of getting an idea of what it's going to be so the door will be there. And that those two rectangles there represent um, what the shower could be. Now I opted with the larger footprint so it, the shower is about 34 inches by 48 inches and not only is that going to be the shower but it's also going to be uh, where the toilet is at too. So we're going to have a composting toilet. Uh, we'll have to, of course, pull that toilet out of the area, out of the the, the room uh, during a shower. But otherwise, the toilet will be in there. And then what I thought it, we could do is put a watertight bulkhead here. So inside the shower, there'll be a watertight door going back to this overhead cavity and there we can store you know any bathroom items such as toilet paper and you know soap and shampoo and stuff like that so that would be kind of nice and then there is going to be an, an opening a cutaway opening into the cab of the vehicle we'll have a couple of folding doors or pivoting doors or something to that effect there and then over here I've got laid out this other rectangle that will be the kitchen, um, the galley area. Uh, there'll be approximately six and a half feet or so of counter. Uh, of course, we can have shelving uh, or, or cabinets uh, above, and of course, we've got that over over the cab area. Uh, but but six feet, there'll be a sink, there'll be a cooktop, there'll be a refrigerator uh, housed in this area here. Now one thing you'll note is that this van body has a garage door and so the garage door takes up uh, quite a bit of area uh, when it's open. 
Um, I thought about swapping doors, maybe going to a fold-out door, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and let this ride and uh, stick with it. But we're going to make some modifications uh, to a few things. First of all, I've got to replace all this steel um, framing. Now, it's pretty, pretty reasonable, but unfortunately in a lot of places it's pulling away from uh, the fiberglass. Uh, that is one issue that I have, and I don't know that it's very, um, very stiff. So what I'm going to do is replace the steel with uh, wood and fiberglass. I'm going to fiberglass in stringers and in, 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 in wood framing in here to stiffen this up and to um, ensure that the steel framing, you know, isn't going to pull away from the wall after um, after a couple thousand miles down the road. Obviously, we're going to have more than just a couple of one buys on here. We're going to have, you know, wall, finished walls, finished ceiling. There's going to be insulation um, and all that sort of stuff involved in here, too. So I definitely want, if I'm going to spend some time in here to build this out, I want to make sure that it's going to be, you know, sturdy and, and strong. So what we'll end up doing is remodifying and re rebuilding this, this rail and the rail support, so which means we'll have to pull this door out of here. So I'm going to start with um, removing the door and then removing this one section of frame and then we're going to pull out of all this uh, metal metal framework and we're going to start laying out for uh, the wooden wood, wood frames uh, that are reinforced with fiberglass. And that will get this framework all ready to go. So then this up in here in the front also we'll have to, we'll have to do some fancy framing in there too because we'll want to finish this, insulate and finish all this too as well. So we got a lot of work, uh, definitely got a lot of work ahead of us. You know this here it's like it's not even glued, you know. It's, it's, it's not really, it's not really, it's not really something that I'd want to build on top of. So, but at any rate, that's, that's, that's what's happening here inside the van. Um, it's, like I said, the, the headroom by the door here, I'm, I can't stand up straight. So that's, fortunately, this area here is going to be where the, um, where the seating is. Uh, over here, I, I'm already, I'm, I got boots on, but that doesn't matter. Um, you know, I'm already touching my head here. So whatever we do inside here, we have to, you know, make sure we keep it as low profile as we can. So I'm not going to change uh, the, the height or the thickness of these. These will be a one and a half inches, and then I'll add on a um, likely a three quarter inch uh, ceiling on here. So I'll, I'll have to duck a little bit. But for the most part, I'll be able to, you know, I'll be pretty comfortable. I mean, this space will be, this will be pretty good. That'll be an amazing view out the door, you know, sitting on the chairs and, uh, and checking out the view. So that would be kind of cool. Now, I don't know if we'll necessarily need this, this ramp um, all the time, but we'll see how it goes. And we'll play it by ear. But the main thing is to get the build started. Um, I've already, of course, I, I, I purchased this truck down in, in Texas. If you were been, uh, if you followed my Twitter during this this time frame in the last uh, little bit here, you'll you'll see I flew down to Texas, uh, Houston, Texas, and uh, purchased this vehicle, and then drove it, turned and burned, and drove it a thousand eleven hundred miles all the way back to Wisconsin. So that was quite the adventure, I must say. But now that it's home here and I got my head straight, got you know, got got some rest back in me. Um, been looking at all the material lists and things of what I need. I've already uh, made a significant uh, order uh, on Amazon. Uh, we got a couple of roof fence coming. We've got some windows coming. We've got uh, the door coming. Uh, we've got fiberglass material, fiberglass resin, and uh, whatnot to start this project out. I just uh, got back from uh, the local. Um, material place and picked up the the lumber the two by two material and the two by six material for the uh for the overhead door the garage door support so we'll begin we'll begin the process here 
uh, in the next few days. And that that'll be the uh, that'll be the next video. We'll have we'll start with the uh, you know remove and replace all the framing and stuff like that, and we'll begin uh, doing some, we'll have to get some insulation and run some wiring and start with the you know the, the wood framing and things, especially with the with the galley and the and the then uh, the shower area. So, but with that said, um, I hope you're as excited about this as I am. Um, next spring, summer is when I hope to uh, uh, sell this whole place, sell everything I own here, pretty much, and uh, and take this take this next step in my life, um, go on a little bit of bit of an adventure before I try to find some new property to purchase. So, all right, guys, uh, we'll see you on the next one.